Right, hello everybody. Right, what I've got here is some squirrel feeding boxes from Amazon. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty cheap. I think they're about £12 something each. So I thought, right, they're probably due to uh, feed a few squirrels in the woods so we can shoot them from a hide. So they're pretty basic, really. One little hinge in there. Look at that, you know what I mean? So pretty cheap. It's real soft wood, I don't know, some soft wood, probably pine or something. Little plastic thing in there to hold the, the, the uh, peanuts in or wheat or whatever you're going to do. Because what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually going to put wheat in these. So I'm going to change all this front. What I've got, I've got some mesh, wire mesh stuff. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm going to repaint the, all of them with this brown wood preserver here then I'm going to put all this over fix it and onto the feeder itself so obviously it's going to make it stronger and stop the squirrels chewing through it as you can see it's a real fine mesh so you can bend it around different shapes I'm going to attach that <coughs> to the feeder box on the top down the sides round here as well I'm not too worried about the back because I'm going to, that's going to be connected to the tree at the back so obviously the squirrels can't get to that so I'll probably just overlap it a bit just make sure they don't chew any of the corners off <coughs> and what I'm going to do I may leave that in and have this along the f over the front like that <coughs> but then I'm going to cut a little area out here so that the actual wheat is exposed so the squirrels can sit there and actually get to the wheat <clears throat> so that's the idea anyway but it's only like a cheap thing I've got from Amazon so yeah and also what I've got here I've got some grey primer and some matte black spray a little bit left in there so what I was going to do was obviously when I've got all this on there it's like spray it grey then do some black lines through it so it sort of camouflages it in a little bit <laughs> so it's really stupid i know but we'll just have a look see how it gets on or that i might just leave i don't know it looks really bright doesn't it so i thought if i spray it with some primer and uh, maybe some black it sort of like camouflage it up a little bit but then again what i might just do just paint maybe just put that on and just paint straight over the top on that so it all blends in so i don't want really silvery Oh, let's see. We'll have a look, I might do one with the uh, cans of spray, and then one with that. We we'll just see which one looks the best, really. Right. Okay. So, so just a little project for a couple of hours on a Sunday. Get them all painted up, ready to go up the woods. Right. Okay. So this is a before and after um, shot. And uh, what I do, I come back on the next clip with it all painted up and ready to go. Right. Okay. Let's see how we get on. Right, there you go, guys. Before and after. <laughs> yeah, you can see the wood, it's really soft. It must be like a pine. But all they've done is like burnt it to give it all this sort of shading. Just like burn it, put a blowtorch over it or something just to make those black marks on there. Looks a lot done now. Put some waterproof and uh, paint on it. Ron Seal, I think it is. Looks a lot better than that, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty cheaply made. Look, you can see where they've just bodged that up with a bit of filler. <laughs> yeah, really flimsy. So what I've done, I painted inside and out, just make it last a bit longer, really. I'm not going to do a special job on it. Done underneath as well. So what do I do the same on this one? And what do I put the mesh on? Then I think I'll just paint over top of the mesh with this. So it will blend in, camouflage it a little bit. So it don't stand out so much as, as that one. Right, okay, then I'll take this one back in the shed and uh, give this one a paint up as well. So if I look the same, then what I'll do, I'll put the mesh on, then we'll paint over the top and have a look, see what it looks like. Right, okay then.
Right, there we go, it's both been painted up. So what I'm going to do now, get the old um, snippers out, and cut this to size, start fitting this mesh on. Right, okay, let's go and grab the um, snippers, start cutting this up, and start attaching it to the boxes. Right, there we go, guys. Got that mesh round it. <clears throat> well, that was hard to cut that stuff. It's really tough. So I'm going to go round. Obviously, that's going to be against the tree. So there's no point in putting any wire on there just to stop the squirrels chewing all the box out. And I'm not done. I just put some wheat in there. I know these screws are stuck out. I'm not worried about that. I mean, not like any birds are going to be nesting in it. <laughs> so what I've done, I've left just enough gap in there. So when the squirrels come up here, obviously the wheat's going to keep on coming out. So I'm just going to put wheat in these now. So if I want to open it up, you know, just cut a little bit more out. I say I want to put peanuts in there or something like that. But yeah, I think that'd do for now. It's not very pretty, but it's functional and it'll do the job. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this one with the wood preservers, wood preservator over the top. And uh, see how we get on with that. Got my little mate here, he's whinging away. He wants to get out in the woods, I think. <laughs> right, so that's what it looked like before. That's what it looks like now. Right, so the wheat, you know, imagine a squirrel in there pulling that. The wheat's just going to keep coming out. Right, so I'll put another piece along the bottom there, just to stop them chewing through this bit. It's pretty tough old stuff, that. So I'm pretty sure that's going to do the job. Right, okay, I'm going to paint this one up. We'll see what it looks like with the wood preservator on it. Right, okay, guys, see how we go on. Right, there you go guys, the before and the after. Yeah, all I've done is just painted the uh, wood preservator over the top of it, just all camouflages it in, doesn't it? I mean, when it weathers in as well on the tree, <coughs> nobody will ever see it. Not that anybody goes through those woods, apart from me anyway, and the owner. So yeah, what I've also done, I put two hooks either side, got some wire wrapped round there. Stop the squirrels lifting the lid up and getting in there. <laughs> so every time I want to feed, I mean, top it back up with fresh food, feed, just to undo that. And obviously the lid lift up and then I can put some more wheat in there. So I've got it, just so that the wheat's just going to come through that gap. So obviously when the squirrel's there, you know, the wheat's just going to full trickle out. So hopefully it'll work. So, right, okay, so I've done one. And uh, I'll get the other one done the next day or two. And hopefully later on next week, I'll get up there and uh, go and set them all up. Which will be good. And also what I've done, I've put this piece of wood on the back. Screw that to the box. And I'll see that will screw. Or I can, you know, tie it round onto the tree. So it's secure. Right, yeah, good. Okay then. That's number one done. See how we get on.